story that we've been following for four and a half months mm -hmm. or more. But perhaps there is just the slightest reason for optimism tonight in the WGA strike. The studios and the union met today and mm -hmm. said they will meet again tomorrow. So what do we know? What does it all mean? That's what everyone wants <laughs> to know tonight. Kate Cal News reporter Tom Wade is here <laughs> to break it all down. I think you're putting me on the spot yeah. here. Right? Yes, we are. <laughs> Which is fair. That's ding, my ding. job, right? <laughs> well, I mean, there's, you know, I, I will say tonight, I'm hearing a little bit more optimism than I've heard before. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. We'll see, right? I mean, yeah. Fingers crossed. So, on the hope end of things, some on the studio CEOs being in the room could be a positive sign. But on the other side of this, there are still major hurdles and no official major breakthroughs, at least not yet. On the picket lines, determination, but also new hope. The studios and the Hollywood Writers Union back at the table and late. The two sides released a rare joint statement, which only said both sides met Wednesday and would be back together Thursday. It might not seem like much, but given how bad talks have gone, it's potential progress. We had one person describe it as encouraging, um, and I've seen other reporting that called it like, you know, Good progress. I don't know if I would even go that far to say it was progress. Uh, my my understanding is the studios sort of have some different ideas of things they'd, they'd be willing to offer. And a lot of it was just the WJ listening to that and saying, okay, we'll think about it and we'll get back to you. It's still tough sledding and I wouldn't, you know, be expecting, you know, champagne corks or anything tomorrow or Friday necessarily. Also different in this round of talks, studio CEOs were reportedly in the room where the talks took place in Sherman Oaks. Disney's Bob Iger, Universal's Donna Langley, Warner Brother Discovery's David Zaslov, and Netflix's Ted Sarandos were present according to Deadline. For a strike that's gone on over 140 days with the writers being out on the picket lines, you know, to be optimistic at this point might seem like a fool's errand, but you know, the fact of the matter is that the writers and the AMPTP, the people who uh, represent the studios and streamers, are sitting down and talking. They talk today, they're going to talk tomorrow. And the fact that some big CEOs like Disney's Bob Iger, Netflix's Ted Sarandos, Universal's Donna Langley, and Warner Brothers Discovery's David Zaslov were also in the room and, as Deadline exclusively reported to, later on today, are expected to be in the room tomorrow. I mean, it's a positive sign. If they keep talking, eventually you hope they're going to come to something. While the new talks present a glimmer of hope for potential of resolving the strike, which is now almost 150 days old, there's also skepticism. This tweet from a Writers Guild strike captain. Hi, it's me, the negotiations Grinch, reminding you that very encouraging and incredible progress are exactly what the studios would say if they want to get people's hopes up and make the WGA look unreasonable for not taking a bad deal. Thanks, sorry, please wait for real news. And CNBC is reporting a deal could be imminent, but as you saw just a second ago in that post, some union members feel like leaks like this that could be just part of a pressure campaign. We just have to wait and see, Pat and Juan, uh, yeah. tomorrow's big day. Yeah, it's like a roller coaster of emotions, yeah. that's for sure. Mm -hmm. But if there isn't a major development or breakthrough tomorrow, then what? Well, that's the million dollar question, but a lot of what I'm hearing is it could be to the new year if, if we don't see some wow. sort of progress tomorrow. Whether, you know, I mean, it doesn't necessarily mean there has to be a deal, Always. right? But at least maybe some progress tomorrow and then hopefully that could, you know, that momentum could help. I yeah, wonder, could they even start production um, by the end of the year? Probably yeah. well, not. That's really close. I mean, so many, as you've said a million times, Pat, so many people outside mm -hmm. of just the industry are waiting, yeah. you know, for this to be over. Okay, well, we've got something. Yes, yeah, something to go on. All right. We'll be following it. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Tom. Thank you. Well, nearly a year after getting caught in a 